I've got no lights, what's going on? Oh, oh there it is, hello. Hello boys and girls. Hello. Hello, I'm Antidote. Yeah, I'm going to tell you a story about my nephew Jack. But first, I'm having a terrible time at the moment. Well, I used to be in the army, you know, but I had to leave the army. I were a knight, they called me Sir Dilt. Right? I don't know why, because I'm a lady, obviously. And, uh, yeah, we had this terrible battle. There was all sorts of terrible loss of life. There was, yes, uh, one of the knights came back. Uh, surveillance, he came back. And he told me about what was going on on the front line. And he said, yeah, so conference just rode around the outside. Circumspect just stared into the distance and, well, guys, you do not want to know what happened to circumcision. <laughs> that joke is funnier than that. <laughs> Thank you very much. Anyway, oh, and hello, who's this bearded wonder out here? What's your name, sir? <laughs> My friend, you wish you could grow a beard. <laughs> so do I, to be fair. I've had a beard for ten years, she's called my wife. Anyway, so... <laughs> hey, what's your name, handsome chap? Uh, Mr. Husbands. No, I don't miss any of my husbands, but... Uh, <laughs> hey, thanks, thanks for the day. Right. Oh, well, it's nice to meet you, Mr. Husbands. Maybe we can meet up for a date later, I've got a nice dress picked out. Yeah, sounds exciting. We can go... We can go, what do they call it? Cheeky Nandos. <laughs> you and me, we'll go for a Cheeky Nandos. Uh, I, 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 thought I could really do with a Cheeky Nandos, actually, because me and my sister... Well, my sister, she's a mother. She never wanted to be a mother, but she is. And uh, she's really struggling with the cost of living crisis right now. Uh, so it is, yeah, she can't afford to heat her house. She can't afford food. So what I've done is I've given her my advent calendar, and her and my nephew Jack are just living off that, basically. Um, which must be really tough for them. Um, but it was, it was a special advent calendar, actually. It was given to me by my private school, and it's great, because every door is opened up by my middle-class privilege. So it's, uh, thank you, thank you, I'm here all day. Right, anyway, uh, let me introduce you to my nephew Jack. Hello, Jack! Hola. Uh, there we go, see you now, that's a costume. I've got hair in my mouth. A bit, a bit of a boo. Anyway, so, this is my nephew Jack, right? Now, every time Jack comes on stage, Jack's gonna say, Where am I? And you're gonna go, You're back, Jack! Well, should we practice? Alright, go away, Jack, go. go right. You ready, guys? Yeah. Yeah, this is much more exciting than writing essays, isn't it? Right, here we go. Where am I? You're back. Yeah. That was Black Fence School for Girls, that one. Oh. Yeah. Come on, guys, you've got to at least hit Townley grammar levels. Oh. Except, without the, uh, except without the racism. I didn't hear that. Oh. 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 <laughs> it were on Instagram. <laughs> Must be true. No. Alright, anyway, here we go. So we've got to be, like, right now, for like, black, like, you weren't, I was joking, you weren't Black Fence School for Girls. You were at least Wellings. Is that worse? Oh. Oh. You were not black fence school for girls, you've got to be at least townly, maybe hitches and sit. And then maybe we could be like, you know, Bexley Grammar, right? Alright, come on then, Jack, let's do this again. Where am I? Oh, great, give yourself a clap. Hold on. Maybe minus one outside, but at least they're warmed up. Anyway, Jack, how are you doing? I'm good. Did you have a nice dinner? Yeah, I was really hungry, so yeah. I ate number 24 because it's that's the biggest one. Oh, yeah. What did you have? Me? Oh, I had China. Maybe Chinese? No, I didn't have any food, so I had to play it. <laughs> <laughs> that's basically the level of all the jokes, so to be honest. Uh, that's great, yeah, what we're talking about. Oh, yeah, so Jack, right, even though Jack ain't got to no money, <laughs> even though he ain't got to no money, right, he's got an assistant for him, which is great. So uh, I'm going to introduce you to Jack's assistant, all right? So here's Jack's assistant, Alexa. <laughs> hey Alexa. Huh? We got her from Amazon. We all the way from the Amazon. <laughs> wow, that's a lot of uh, that's a lot of travel. Did it come the next day? Yeah. That's amazing. It's many evil times. I don't know how you get all the way from Amazon to here in a day. But even though the Amazon exists in many evil times, I don't know. I don't teach history or drama half the time. Anyway, <laughs> but we got muck about the way forward. Um, hi Alexa, how are you feeling? Okay. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, so, uh, Jack, is there anything else we're supposed to talk about? Uh, I, mean, I don't think so. 
Oh, that's great. Was, uh, I forgot as well. Uh, this is really under rehearsed. It's going to be a bit of a mess. A bit like watching Tottenham Hotspur. It's going to be. Uh... Yeah. It's all right. Some people enjoy those sort of things. Good. Anyway, so uh, Jack really loves Tottenham Hotspur. Yeah. It's all right. Luckily, he's gone up poor because he's used to crushing disappointment. Anyway, so. Uh, <laughs> Uh, right, so uh, you better go and see your mother. Um, so, uh, <coughs> bye Alexa, hit the road Jack. Play, hit the road Jack by Ray Charles. <laughs> hit the road. <laughs> Jack! Oh, my goodness. My goodness. Where am I? You're Stay still. <laughs> and yes, you have my Spanish cousin who would love to introduce himself. His name was Soy Bean. Yeah. <laughs> and he was, of course, you have a bit of my druggy cousin. Yeah, he's a bit of a baked bean, though, from time to time. <laughs> anyway, my evil plan I will sell these magic beans to some unsuspecting individual. And I'll throw a huge beanstalk into the clouds. And then they'll all, they all climb up and I'll destroy the houses and build a giant bean farm. As well. An unsuspected individual. Of course, it's hard to spare all you lot in there, you ugly mugs. Yeah. 
Alright, so I've got a cow. Um, I don't really need a cow. Does anyone in the audience want a cow? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you're calling me a cow? Uh, never. Outrage. Holding <laughs> on to this for later. Oh, oh. Just finally to, you know, um, what do you do with ropes? Tie a Christmas tree to the roof of a car that don't exist because it many many times. Yeah. Oh. Christmas tree to the roof of my car that ain't been invented. Uh, I, I need some help going up there and I need someone young and supple. Um, are you young and supple? Yeah. No. Yeah. You're young and supple? I could have solved it, but I forgot already, so... I can solve it. Yeah, I can solve it. Can you? That's fine. Maybe you can get a job at Tottenham Hotspur. So, uh, Right, you're not going to climb up to the big stuff for me. Oh, let's get my nephew to do it. Oh! Where am I? There we go. Jack! Oh, unbelievable! You won't imagine... No, wait, what? You won't even begin to imagine what just happened to me. Took me and so broke my back of my dress and stole my handbag. I'm very upset. Aww. 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 Oh, you climb up to me so I can get some handbag for me. Oh, that's great. Uh, good. You should totally go and do that. Uh, right. So, Jack and Siri, you go up there. Sorry, Jack, Alexa, you go up there. Ah, you thought there were going to be a song joke there, didn't you? Yeah. No, there weren't. Ha ha! Come on, Oh, 